do? Do I just leave her and go home? Yeah, I'm going home. There's nothing left here for me to do. She'll be better off with a stay point in that look. Hey! <laughs> hey! What are you- What the hell is that face? Hello? This is Maya. Hey, Maya. It's me. Mia? What's up? You haven't called in a while. Sorry, I've been so busy. How have you been? Well, lonely. And it's all your fault. Nah, I'm just teasing. I've been great. I'm finally getting used to having my own place. It's good to hear. Actually, I'm calling because I have a favor to ask. I know, I know. You want me to hold evidence for you? Sharp as always. There's a lot of buzz about the upcoming trial. I just don't feel safe keeping the evidence here. I gotcha. So what is it this time? It's... A clock. A clock? Yeah. It's made to look like that statue to Thinker. It tells you the time. I thought you might like it. You always like toys. Hey, I'm not a little girl anymore, sis. Now, now. You know I'm only teasing. Ah. I should probably tell you. The clock isn't talking right now. Huh? It's not working? That's lame. I had to take the clockwork out. Sorry. I put some papers inside it instead. Papers? Is that the evidence then? Well, there's a possibility that it might turn out that way, yes? Can you come by the office tonight, say, 9 o'clock to pick it up? I'll be in a pre-trial meeting until then. Okay, sis, but I expect dinner. Something good. Like, burgers! I could really go for a good burger. Okay, okay. With the usual joint. Alright. It's a deal. Okay, sis. See you soon. Yep. I'll be waiting, Maya. Conversation recorded. September 5th, 927 in the morning. Got a morning in the morning. September 5th, 8.57 p.m. Fan call law offices. Now, Miss Faye, I'll take what's mine. The papers. Man, don't you know I'm an immigrant? I'm sorry, but I can't give you what I don't have. Miss Faye, you are a poor liar. And you're gonna be poor and dead in a second. Why? I see it right over there. That must be the thinker that swallowed those papers. How could you know? Ho ho! You are not... Coney Forest of my background? Gathering information is my business, you see. I... I should have been more careful. Ho ho! My dear Miss Faye, I am so very sorry. Ho ho ho! But I am afraid I must ask you for one more thing. Your eternal silence. Farewell, Miss Faye. Seem a man of, man, man, uh, man of many talents. I have five accents in one. Yeah, it's over, Mia. That's... That's a wifey, though. It, it's a prank. It, it's a nightmare. It has to be. It better be. Red, white, blue. They just killed Mia, bro? 908, so that's, what, 11 minutes later? Uh oh, I'm late. Huh? That's strange. I guess the chief left without me. She said her sister was coming over, so we should all go out for dinner. What's that smell? Blood? Mia. Maybe she's in her office. Then move! That smell. Blood! Sis! Someone's there. No. And she had legs! Chief. Chief! Chief! So you, you killed her before I could hit? 
I couldn't even name one of my sons yet, bro. That man, that man didn't kill one person. He killed three, bro. I was trying to put triplets in, man. Who are you? What the hell? Excuse me? A strange girl dropped out cold. I left her lying on the office sofa. I went back to the chief where she lay under the window. Oh my god. She is fire. Her body was still warm. I could feel it when I held her shoulder. What is on her neck? That's cool. A little necklace? And all too quickly, it began to fade. So finally she was cold. Chief. It's hard seeing her like this, but if there are any clues here, she was struck on the head with a blunt object. She probably died instantly. The thinker lying next to her must have been the murder weapon. <clears throat> We know that. Hmm. There are some glass shards in the chief's body. Must be pieces of the glass light stand lying broken in the back of the room. The broken remains of a glass light stand. Broken beyond all recognition. Nothing else that seems like a clue here. Hmm. Piece of paper. It must have fallen from Mia's hand. What could it be? I know that I don't say what I think it say. Damn. Hold on, I gotta be fake though. There's no way. A word is written in blood on a scrap of paper. Maya. Did Mia write this? This piece of paper is a receipt from a department store. Dated yesterday. I think that's enough snooping around for now. I better call the police and find out what that girl was doing here. There's a large building right across from the office. Gatewater Hotel. A nice, luxurious place. Alright. That girl just now. Where'd she go? I put her right there on that sofa. Uh oh. Oh, she didn't run out on me. Yipes! Don't scare me like that. Excuse me, but who are you? It's okay. I work here. Maya. Maya Faye. Maya Faye. Maya. So me was writing this girl's name? Maybe I should show her the receipt? I never thought there'd be a use for evidence like this outside the courtroom. That lawyer's badge. I'm sorry. I've never seen that before. What? Is that even your sister? She don't wear this? She seems to be in shock. I don't want to disturb her, but I have to know. Um... Excuse me. Can you tell me what happened? I came in. The room was dark. Sis. Sis. So she was already dead. So, you're the chief's sister. I'm a younger sister. And you were here visiting this late at night? Don't tell me she was on some weirdo. Why am I saying that? I know why she was here. Yes. She said she wanted me to keep some evidence for her. Evidence? Yes, it, it was the clock. It was the thinker. Before Mia died, she wrote a message with her own blood, huh? Yeah, we know you did it. Now I'm gonna put you right next to Mia, and we gonna blast you away. Shoot on the back of this receipt. Th that's my name. Why? Why would she write my name? Please, just calm down. 
Phoenix, you're crazy, man. Why would Sis write my name? Uh oh. Now I've done it. I better hurry up and call the police. So I call. Oh, I seen the phone over there. Right. I better call the police. That's funny. A few of the screws on the receiver are missing. Looks like someone was halfway through taking it apart. Police! Please, come quick! What was that? Someone screaming from outside the window? Yeah! What? She's staring right at me! I'm looking back. I got two, I got eyes in different places. She's holding a phone in her hand. Uh, we don't want to check that, Phoenix? Alright, I guess you don't care. The phone, me the phone receiver is missing a few screws. Better not use it. Oh, back. Weirdo. Alright, cops. The police. Sounds like they're coming this way. Freeze, police! Put your hands up, Nick! Alright, I'm Detective Dick Gumshoe, see? I don't know if I like that accent. <laughs> Gumshoe? What an odd name. You see the report from the building across the way, see? Got a person saying they saw a murder. Must have been that woman I saw. Anyway, I don't want either of you moving one inch, K, because I'm ready to blast both of y'all suckers out. Great. Just great. Maya, wait, she wouldn't have. Nah. Whoa! Excuse me. This where Maya here mean anything to you? Um, that's. That's my name. What? The victim drew this here no in her own blood, see? It's a dying breath. She wrote down the killer's name. My bad. My alarm just feel like going off for no reason. Case closed. You coming down to the precinct, man? What? Nia's younger sister, Maya, was arrested on the spot. I was taken in for questioning and didn't get out until the next morning. My eyes were heavy, but I couldn't sleep. I sat around, waiting for visiting hours to begin at the detention center. I had to talk to Maya as soon as possible. September 6, 9.07 a.m. Detention center. Visitor's room. Wow, they have four Maya locked up like a criminal. Oh. Damn, she looks... She looks gone, bro. This is a bot, too. It's you. The lawyer. Good, good morning. Good morning. She looks so tired. Are you going to be my attorney? Well, that's what I want to talk to you about. Nah, I'm good. Maybe if I choke a bitch, Shira. <laughs> <laughs> no way, Jose. Just kidding. <laughs> Oops, that didn't go so well. <laughs> Is that a chuckle? What? N no? It wasn't very believable, was it? Not really. I I'm sorry. I just thought since you made a choke, oh my god. Please don't mind me. You're doing just fine. I'm trying to cheer who up who here. 
I knew it. No one believed me. What? Even you, when you found me in the office, looked at me like I had done it. You dirty bum, Nick! You're supposed to be there for me! Did I look at her like that? Yeah, bro, because you were trying to put in trick kids! You were trying to continue the fa the Faye family name, and this here go this little girl, killing off the gas. She is the gas. Not gas, the gas. No, no, I never thought. It, it's okay. I understand. And I've also heard about you. Heard? And what about? I was talking to my sister on the phone the other day. Today was my junior's partner's fr first time in court. Wow, really? How'd that go? It was quite the scene. Honestly, I was on edge the whole time. It's been a while. So he crashed and burned. Wait, is this what we heard earlier? Oh no, I'm tripping. It's not. He's a genius. One of those strike fear in the hearts of evil types. The only thing he's lacking is experience. Huh? Sounds like it was fun. Well, I know, I know who to go to if I ever get into trouble. I don't know, Maya. I think you might want to wait. Give him three more years. That is, unless you want to be found guilty. Damn! Don't worry, I got something to put in you for three years. I mean, shoot, she's playing. That's what she said. I, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to insult you. No, it's okay. It's true, I guess. But at the same time, I can't just sit by and watch. I think of the person who did this to Mia. I know. Turn that up in your headphones, man. Do you not hear this crack? Do you not hear this crack? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey, that's fine. Look at this cop over here. This guard monitors the visitors. He hasn't moved an inch. A real pro, this guy. There's something I've been wanting to ask you. Yes? What's with that outfit? Oh, this? This is what all acolytes wear. It's my uniform, you could say. Uh, acolytes? Like people in religious training? What is it you do? Oh, it's nothing strange, really. I'm a spirit medium. In training? Wait, wait, wait. Am I stupid? Didn't she just say I don't do anything weird and then she, she just says she's a spirit medium? A spirit medium? I'm pretty sure I think that qualifies as strange. Thank you, buddy. Did you tell me about the day of the murder? Yes. Let's see. That morning, I got a call from my sister. She wanted me to hold on to a piece of evidence for an upcoming trial. Evidence? Yes. That clock she like the thinker. The one Larry made. How could that have been evidence in a case? Um, right. She said something about that. I remember. You want to hear it in her own voice? Her, her own voice? Yes. I'm pretty sure our conversation is on my cell phone. You recorded it? Yeah. I forgot to delete those things. Ooh. Okay. I like the most difficult part of this video is what I should cut out. I feel like I'm gonna have full gameplay things. Which is good. I just I'm just trying to make sure if y'all like it. This is for y'all. I don't, you know what I'm saying? I don't have the world's greatest desire to do this. Now I am one of the best that ever did it, you know what I'm saying? Voice acting thing at least. Unless y'all approach something different, but I think I'm doing a very good job. So you say you have a conversation with your sister on your cell phone? Oh, but let me say. That boy Greg Chun was cooking, dog. I was, I was astonished. When he was on Crystal's thing, he was that bro. That's that man right there. That's the ugly. Let's hear it. Right. Oh, I just remembered. The Tedo took my cell phone. Sorry. Oh right. Of course. Next time I see the Tedo gumshoe, I ask him for it. 
But that's big gum shoot you, Phoenix, back up. I'll write you a note so you don't forget, okay? Sure, thanks. Conversation I had with my sister is recorded on my cell phone. I can ask again. That almost be hard. Oh, oh okay, 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 okay. I thought this was something. I thought this was the same thing. All I've been doing, all I've been doing the last few hours is talking about it. I've kind of gotten used to it. Let's see. That morning, I got a call from my sister. She wanted me to hold on to a piece of evidence for an upcoming trial. It's the finger clock that Larry made. It practically qualifies as a serial murderer by now. Did you just crack a joke, Phoenix? Yo, Phoenix, are you serious? So then... When did you arrive at... So then, when did you arrive at the office? It was right It was right around 9. The lights were off and... I could smell blood. But then I found her. My sister. Thanks, Maya. That's all I need to hear for now. What's oh, that? So you're an acolyte. Uh, medium of training. That's right. Faye family, especially the women, always been very sensitive to the spirit world. Wait a second. You said the Faye family? So Mia was into this stuff too? Of course. She left the mountain to follow her career, she said. Her powers were first class, too. I... I had no idea. Wait! What? What? So... You're a real, honest-to-goodness spirit medium? With ESP and all that? Yes. In training. Well, can't you contact Mia's spirit, then? You can just ask her who killed her. I'm sorry. I'm still in training. I couldn't do something on that level. I thought that would be too easy. Um... Huh? Something to matter? Um, I was wondering, could I ask you a favor? This is the address of a famous lawyer. My sister gave me this a long time ago. She said if I was ever in trouble, I should call him. And well, I'm in trouble. You think you can go ask him to represent me? Hmm? Nah, I'm good. I'm sorry. I think this is the kind of thing you should really do here. How is she gonna do it herself? I <laughs> mean, what? <laughs> You're right. S something wrong? Actually, I asked the police to contact him. And they tried calling him a few times. Nobody could get a hold of him. They couldn't find him? I have no one left to ask. Say, what about your parents? Z Phoenix, just do it at this point. You bringing up the girl's parents? I didn't want you to do all that now. That's one thing I can't stand about video games. Don't pick one option, it goes a whole different option. How I tell you to punch bro in the face, you pull a gun out. What? Okay, don't worry, I'll go ask him for you. Y you will? Thank you so much. I'm just worried what will happen if I can't find him. He told me that if I don't find one. Oh, shoot. He told me that if I don't find one, the state will pick an attorney to defend me. What will that happen? They're giving me until 4 this afternoon. The visiting hours are almost up. I better hurry. Right, I'll be back. I'm gonna be a lawyer. Sorry, I. Grossberg Law Offices. September 6th, yep, okay, cool. According to the receptionist, the big boss is out. She couldn't say when he'd be back. It must be hard to keep track of everything when you're a famous lawyer. Not to mention running an office like this. I guess I'll just have to come back later. Excuse me? That painting has been bugging me ever since I stepped in here. The oil paint is so thick it's practically giving me a stuffed nose. Oil paint? I'm sure the price is nothing to sneeze at either, for that matter. How do you paint with oil? Okay. The office is filled with police officers. They're all busily searching for clues. 
Hey, you there. This is a crime scene, pal. No trespassing. Um, sorry, don't I know you from somewhere? Wait, you're that butts guy, aren't you? Huh? You're looking real hairy. Hairy butts? You stink. No, no, Phoenix right. How could anyone mistake me for Larry? Ah, uh, guess I got the wrong name, Mr. Wright. Sorry about that. Where's the music? That butts guy. He was a killer. And you're no killer, right? He was proven innocent. Um, right. And you were? Detective Suede Shoes. Um, Suede Shoes, wasn't it? That's me. Don't step on my blue <laughs> suede shoes. <laughs> Wait, that's a song, pal. My name's Dick Gumshoe. Emphasis on the dick. Pause. What? You know, like Richard? No, nah, I swear that's uh, I read. I swear that's Richard. I wasn't even trying to be weird with that. What? Wait. That's the tip of Gumshoe to you, pal. Anyway, get the name right. Or end your life. Don't go calling me Dick. Hey, Dick, get over here. Yes, yes, sir. Be right there. Yeah, Dick, get it moving. Um, ahem. You're a lawyer, right, pal? If you got business here, you better do it quick. Oof, I think some Maya's lawyer. I gotta give Gumshoe, you know what I'm saying, that voice. That voice through his voice. Hmm? What's that? Sorry, pal. I got no info for the likes of you. About Miss Faye. Did you do an autopsy? Hmm? You wanna know, you wanna know the results, eh? Why don't you look at me like that, pal? It's no use. She might have been your boss, but that doesn't mean you get any special treatment. All right, all right. You can see the report, but that's all. That's insane. Time of death. What is that? September? Yeah, September 5th, 9 p.m. Cause single blunt force trauma. He must have grabbed the clock and bashed it. Death was instantaneous. Okay, so, so, instantaneous, right? Instantaneous? This is impossible to write. Impossible. Um... About mine. Yeah, I'm looking forward to the try. Sorry, pal, but this is one try you aren't gonna win. Why do you say that? The city's put Prosecutor Edgeworth on the prosecution. Edgeworth. I'm sure you know what that means, you being a lawyer and all. Is he a murderer? You cross him, you get, you die? Prosecutor Edgeworth. That's right, pal. Mr. Miles Edgeworth himself. Wait, you do know him, don't you? Of course I do. Sure. I know him. He's a feared prosecutor. He doesn't feel pain. He doesn't feel remorse. He's a murderer. He won't stop until he gets his guilty verdict. Ah, uh, don't talk about him that way. You make him barely sound human. Still... I'm afraid this pretty much decides the case. So, Edward is on this one. He hasn't lost the case since he became prosecutor at the incredibly young age of 20. Of course, there are rumors of back alley deals and forged evidence. All I know for sure is that Edward hates crime with an almost abnormal passion. I never imagined I'd be facing him so soon. There was a piece of paper next to the victim, wasn't there? Yeah, the one with the killer's name written on it. Are you sure that Mia wrote it herself? Given the condition of the writing, it's hard to say if it's her handwriting or not. So there's no proof that Mia wrote it. I was wondering, did you see Maya Faye's cell phone? Oh, that? I have that. You think we could give it back? Sure, I mean... Wait a second, pal! Tricky lawyer. Uh-oh, he's on to me. I can't tell him straight. Okay, I can't be straight with this guy, but what should I tell him? Something to matter, huh, bucko? Oh, oh no, um... 
That carrying strap on the cell phone. This says the Steel Samurai, warrior of Neo Old Tokyo. The Steel Samurai, the action hero on TV. Yeah, you see that strap is a collector's item. She was worried it might get lost if it went down to the precinct. That what she said? Um, yes. Okay, pal. I wrote down all the numbers she called anyway. Here you go. Seems he didn't notice the recorded conversation. It's fire. I guess I've asked all the questions I need to. You all done, pal? Um, yes. Thank you. I'll be heading out now. Oh, wait. One more thing I wanted to mention to you. I don't suppose you're planning on talking to that witness. Anyway, you better not. That's mine. All that, all that you've seen out that window, that's all me. No influencing the witness with your lawyerly ways, pal. Come to think of it, I completely forgotten about it. The witness? Yeah, Miss April May. I'm sorry about this, but I can't tell you anything about her. Well, you just told me her name. Miss May, huh? So you've seen her home already? Huh? Then? Aha! You're trying your loyally tricks on me now. She's not to go outside her room until the trial. So she's still in the hotel across the way. I guess I should know better than to try to get a detective to leak information. You got that right, pal. I pay a visit to Miss May. Yo, this dude is the worst detective I ever seen. Room 303. Well, hello there, handsome. What is this pose with your arms? You finna swing at me? Like, I'm literally trying to understand, like, what is seductive about that? Because I don't see it. Um, hi. There's no... What is that, buddy? If you're trying to holler... Smooth, right? Real smooth. You're the lawyer, aren't you? The detective told me... He said, don't say nothing to that lawyer, pal. Tee-hee! Remember the self. I think Detective Gumshoe is making my job harder. Gee! This is all like something out of a movie. It's all so exciting, I can hardly contain myself. Ooh, let me go fresh enough so I can look the part of the beautiful eyewitness. I pity the lawyer that's the cross-examine this one. Well, let's check that. This screwdriver is stuck, stuck in his drawer. I wonder what's inside. Let's take a look. Hey! <laughs> hey! What do you- what the hell is that face? Oh, she's twitching? Oh yeah, she a murderer. Look- Look at her eye, bruh! I'll probably zoom in for y'all. Dog, look at the eye! Oh hell nah. What are you doing? No touching! Ooh, bad boy! Mama come to spank! You- You really shouldn't pry around other people's rooms now. You wouldn't want to make me upset, would you? Upset? I thought she was gonna explode for a second there. I wonder what could be inside the drawer. I got her back out by just doing that? W. The late summer sunlight streams through the window. There's the Fanco law, office law Office's building, of course. You can see the inside of the room pretty clearly from here. I think it would be a little difficult to recognize a face from this distance, though. I'm trying to check the wine. There you go. Bottle and two glasses are on the table. Somebody must be staying with her. Yo, she laying it down for her brother. You think you could tell me something? I need you to, to describe what you observed at the time of the incident. Ooh, observe. Incident? You sound just like a lawyer in the movies. I like a man with a big vocabulary. Um, better not encourage her. Uh, you know that thing that occurred, um, 
happened the other day, the bad thing? What did you see when it happened? I don't suppose you could tell me about it. Pretty please? Let me see, um, well... Dream on! If you wanna know, just have to come to court tomorrow, Mr. Lawyer. Oh boy. Um, could you... Just, who exactly are you? Ooh, Mr. Lawyer. Are you hitting him? No. Hey, I'm just doing my job here. See? <laughs> you know, you're cute when you blush. Believe me, this is the first time in my life I've blushed this much. Um, <laughs> Right. Can you just tell me what it is you do? Well... No! See? And you had your little hopes up, didn't you, bro? She thinks she's doing good, but I know she's dodging all these questions. Oh boy, she is dodging. I'm getting no info. See, there are two glasses on the table. Is someone staying here with you? Ooh! What amazing powers of observation! You must be one of those famous detectives, like on television. Oh no, not me. I'm, uh, just a lawyer. Say, Mr. Big Detective. What a big vocabulary. Why don't you go look for clues in the garbage? Miss hmm? May doesn't like a nosy little lawyers. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy on this one. Excuse me, but I'm a witness. Police witness. You understand? How could I possibly give you any information in good conscience, hmm? Me, the witness. It's just like in the movies. Man, movie these nuts, man. That didn't make sense. Alright. Got you. Hmm. Seems like Mr. Grossberg is out. Well, maybe I should just wait here for him to come back. Ahem! That was in the most over-the-top clearing of the throat I've ever heard. Huh. So you know the one they say that's been looking for me? Um, it, yes, that's me. He looks even grander than I imagine. You big as hell. You need to be in the NBA with your big body self. You probably weigh 300 pounds, man. Hmm? That badge on your collar? Ah, so you're a lawyer, are you? Are you now? Y yes, well, yes. And what do you want? I'm not particularly busy these days. Please, proceed. Not busy? Then how come no one can get in touch with you? Hmm? Something the matter? You came to see the one and only Marvin Grossberg, did you not? Well, here I am, boy. What do you want? Out with it. Um, well, sir. Actually, it's about Maya. Maya Faye. Ooh. Has a nice little kick to it, huh? Ah, yes. Maya Faye, go on. Hmm? Why a strange reaction? Ah, cha-cha! I'm really quite busy here, son. I can't go taking cases on a day's notice. No, it's quite impossible. Well, wait a second. How did you know the trial was tomorrow? Uh, ahem! Uh, anyway, I'm afraid it's entirely impossible for me to represent her. Sorry. End of discussion. What's going on? He refused me before I even got a chance to ask him. What do I tell Maya? Hey, I won't lie, that bro got a drip. That drip say he got on. How can you just refuse like that? Please, tell me why you won't take the case. Hmm? Uh, 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 You see, it's just... I'm busy, you see? But the client is Mia Faye's sister. Hmm. Ahem. Uh, Mia trusted you. She knew her sister would be in good hands. Yes, yes, of, of course I know that. However, I'm sorry, but... I must refuse. Sorry. Goodbye. Creep. Fine. I don't have time to argue with you anyway. I'll go look elsewhere. <sighs> I think not. Huh? Did you say something? Yeah, speak up! You too big to be sounding all timid now! I ain't here to play all that. I think not, I said. Oh, we still- Oh, we still don't bend it! Okay! I gotta respect it. Alright. What do you mean? I'm terribly, terribly sorry. But I'm afraid that no lawyer with their soul would take on this particular case. Terribly sorry, my boy. 
Why? I... I cannot say. You can't do anything. You can't even get on a diet with your big body ass. I beg your pardon, but could you leave? Now? I have nothing more to discuss with you. What's going on here? No, Goofy, you don't tell me what to do. How did you know Mia Faye? She worked here a long time ago. Quite the apprentice, that one. Learned my techniques in the blink of an eye. She left one day, quite suddenly. She had a mission, you see. A mission? You could see it in her eyes. She followed it with a burning passion. Never looked back, that one. W. That's quite a painting. Aha! You noticed! It's my pride and joy. Impressive, isn't it? Well, isn't it? The color of the sky. The heat with the sea. The weave of the straw hat. It's worth at least three million. I have no intention of parting with it. Three million? What are you busy with? Go take a vacation. I only got three million as a painting. Just sell it. No, I won't sell it. Not even you. I'm not buying that. Exactly. It's not for sale. Bro, back off. I'm not buying. Jeez, man. Before I slump you. I'm very sorry. I went. I've got nothing to say regarding this matter. You're a loser. How about that? Big body bastard. Looks like the detective gun shoe has gone home. The police are still keeping themselves busy busy in the chief's office. No one has time to talk to me. Guess I'll head out. Alright. So I meant to go back here. Hiya. Oh, you're back! Did you find a lawyer? Um, well, what do I tell her? Well see, just be honest. I I really don't think you should use that guy. He didn't seem healthy. He was all skin skin and bones. Bro, she knows who this guy is. He he weighs more than us three in the room combined. I'm talking about the cop, I'm talking about Maya, and I'm talking about me. What really what really happened? You don't mean he refused to help? Ugh. I see. I've been abandoned then. Yeah, you're right. Oh, I'm out of here. Uh, yep, we're gonna chill in here. Nah, that's actually insane. That I actually went through with it too. That's crazy. Alright, don't move back. I'm sorry. Family. What about your family? I only have my sister. My father died when I was very young. And I don't know where my mother is. I don't know. So she could still be alive? My mother. The women in my family have been mediums for generations. They say a lot of spiritual power runs in our blood. About 15 years ago. Our family was involved in an incident. There was a man and he... He... He ruined our mother's life. Ruined. After that, she disappeared. Several years after that, my sister announced she would become a lawyer and she left the mountain. So, you live by yourself? Yes. I've gotten used to it. Oh, also, I had to become independent, or I would lose my powers. I feel bad for her, all by herself up on that mountain. Alright. So who is this man who, um, ruined your mother? About 15 years ago, there was an unusual murder case. It made quite a stir. Everyone was talking about it, apparently. The police were running out of leads, and they were getting desperate. Wait, they didn't use a spirit medium, did they? The police convinced my mother to try to contact the victim. Wow, so what happened? The case was solved. We thought. We thought? The man my mother helped the police capture was innocent. The police's, the police's consultation with the medium had all been carried out in secret, of course. But a man found out about it and leaked it to the press. He told all the papers that my mother was a fraud, and the media jumped on him big time. She, my mother, became the laughing stock of the nation. I see. White, 
I hate white people. Nah, okay. Nope, 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 nope. Excuse me. White? That was his name. My sister told me. That's the murderer? That's what killed Mia? White. Hmm. You know, you're looking very white right now, Maya. Is she trying to say something? S just a little longer now. Before the state appointed lawyer comes, I guess. 4 p.m. Time's up. What should I do? Do I just leave her and go home? Yeah, I'm going home. There's nothing left here for me to do. She'll be better off with a state appointed that lawyer. I think I better get home now. Goodbye. Are you serious? Wait, this is real? Oh my, my dumb looking at. Oh, I'm an idiot. Oh, I'm so slow. It was a few days later when I found out the story ended. The result of the trial was in the newspaper. Guilty. I'll probably never meet her. See? Did I make the right choice? Will I ever know? Mia, if you can hear me, please tell me. Mia, put me back. Mia, please! No, I can't let that happen! Bro. I'm not leaving here until she takes me as a lawyer. I've made up my mind. I'm gonna defend you whether you want me to or not. Bro, that was dark. That's why it's turning as fire, bro. It could be, it could be, not lighthearted, but it could be, you know, not so heavy. And then it gets super heavy with somebody, with an innocent person being accused, being guilty, and I could have prevented it. Bro, that's hard. Why? Why? Well, I don't know. Why. To be honest, I don't know. You don't know? Is this girl sitting in front of me to kill her? All the evidence seems to say yes. There's something about this whole thing that smells fish. That what is this strange behavior? Is that all an act? In the, in the way that lawyer refused to help out Maya. More than all that, she has no one left to help her. Nothing is more sad or more lonely than that. I know, I've been there a long, long time ago. Why did I become a lawyer in the first place? The game is heating up, y'all. It's heating up. Because someone has to look out for the people who have no one on their side. There's only one thing I know for certain. I won't abandon you. You can count on me. That's so kind of you. That's what Maya's on right now. She's on that little tear arc. Well, let's fight this one and get you out of here. R right. Thank you. Ooh, she smiled at last. She looks like an entirely different person. One last question. You are innocent, right? Yes. And I trust you. So you trust me too, okay? It's a deal. So what next? There's something that's been bugging me. Just what was inside that strange woman's drawer? It was when I tried to look into the drawer that she got all defensive. There has to be something in there. Oh my god, okay. And I put it back to this. Oh, I'm such a weirdo for that. Good afternoon, sir. Ex excuse me, you are? Uh, I beg your pardon, sir. I'm the bellboy of this establishment at your service, sir. Oh. Right. I've just come up to deliver room service, sir. Um, do you know where Miss May might be? Ah, uh, I believe I guess Miss May is currently using the, uh, facilities? If you've no need of anything, I'll be taking my leave. Please, stay as long as you like. Enjoy. Bonjour! Yeah. Wait, no. Hey! Why does it seem like every time I come here... I end up embarrassing myself. Wait, now's my chance to snoop around a bit. Oh, I almost forgot. Yeah! You, you came back quick. Why did I ask you to inform Miss May that there was a message for her? 
please tell that Mr. White of blue cord phone, Mr. White. That's why she hated white, y'all. It was making sense. Oh, right. Sure. Mr. White of Blue Corp. Let me find her that name. Phoenix. That's why, that's why. In canon, this you ended your arc. You ended your whole franchise at Maya's thing. I'm talking about where have I heard that name? We just heard it. Exactly. Exactly. She just told you. White was the name of the guy who ruined me and Maya's mother. Could it be a coincidence? Please, Phoenix, ask some stupid questions. There's a screwdriver sticking out of that half open drawer. That's my chance to see what's inside. What do we have here? Um, wiretap? Hmm. What would a woman like her be doing with a thing like this? There is definitely something suspicious about this Miss May. Why would she have something like this in her hotel room? There's a story behind all this. I know it. Alright. I'll be using this bit of evidence in tomorrow's trial, that's for sure. For Maya's sake. I'll get to this woman's bottom weight. I mean, you know what I mean. Yeah, I do, and I like where this is going. Oh, Bellboy, still there? Uh-oh. Time to scram. I look forward to Tang going with you tomorrow, Miss May. Cause he's trying to get in that bottom! In the court, you don't gotta lie to me, man. He lied for y'all, he didn't lie to me. Alright. I might make this part too. Because PlayStation is weird with how they do things. They have like an hour 20 minute, um, what is it? Video limit? But hey, I hope y'all enjoyed. Like and sub. Comment, you know, if this is a good substitution, anything I could do better. I love criticism. I want to improve. I want to be popping. Feel me? I'll just be honest. I do. If I can make this a living, I'll be proud. God bless. Have a great day. Follow my Twitch. And I started Twitter. Follow that too. You know what I'm saying? Help a brother out. Peace. Thank you.